question four on our stats and probability review. Consider a lottery with the following payouts and probabilities. So the grand prize is ten million dollars, and there's a probability of getting a probability of zero point zero 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 three eight. The second prize is ten thousand dollars with a probability of zero point zero 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 two one, and the third prize is a hundred dollars with a probability of zero point zero zero five. So we want to find the probability that a player wins nothing. So the probabilities that a player will win something can come from adding those three probabilities together, correct? So let's just add the three numbers together. So we're going to add 0 0.0000, I think I said too many zeros, I'm not sure yet, 38. Yeah, we're adding this together. So when I added them all together, I got, oh, I don't know if I have that number written down. Maybe you guys can check my work with me. Make sure I put the right number of zeros. So point zero 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 three eight plus point zero 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 two one plus point zero zero five. So I get a probability of 0 0.0052138. That's the chance you win something. Chance of winning, even if it's just $100. Right? So to find the chance of that not happening, that's where we take 1 and we subtract that number because a probability of something definitely happening is one, right? Or 100%, but this isn't a percent, this is a decimal probability. So we subtract that out and we get a probability of 0 0.9947862. So what are the chances of ever winning, of ever not winning a lottery? 99.5% chance you'll never win anything, even if you buy a lottery tickets. But why do people buy lottery tickets, even though they know that there's a very small chance? There is still someone that's going to win, right? Someone's going to be that big winner, that $10 million winner. And it might as well be you, even though the chances are entirely against you. All right. So, if the lottery ticket costs $7, then find the value of each outcome for the player. Okay, so the way that we do that is we take our $7, trying to remember how I did this, sorry, and we multiply... So, a ticket costs $7, right? So, if you pay $7 for a lottery ticket, then you are in the whole $7, so negative 7, because you paid $7 for the lottery ticket, and there's a 99% chance that that will happen, that you'll lose that money. So, we take our $7, negative $7, times 0.9947862, right? Then, if you win the $10 million, then you would have $10 million, but there's only a, what was that number? 0 0.0000038 chance of that happening. All right, so using a calculator, we're going to, yes, because you're paying $7 to be entered into the lottery. So we're going to do um, 7 times 
Why do I have that number there? Oh, that's right. I'm looking... I'm using the wrong number. Forgive me. I just realized I'm using the wrong number because this is supposed to not be the prob probability of not winning. It's supposed to be the probability of not winning the $10 million. So we need to change that. Sorry. To make you erase or scratch out or whatever. We need to change that to... Um, the probability of not winning the $10 million would be the 1 minus 0 0.0000038. Does that make sense? Because the probability of winning the $10 million is 0 0.000038. So the probability of not winning the $10 million is 0 0.999962. So chances are you will pay $7 to get a lottery ticket and the probability of not winning the $10 million is 0.999962. I got that from taking 1 subtract 0 0.000038. Pro probability of winning the $10 million, probability of not winning the $10 million. And we're multiplying by negative 7 because that's how much we have to pay to buy a ticket. We're multiplying this by 10 million because that's how much we win. Okay, so now we're going to calculate these numbers. So this is pretty, pretty darn close to 1, right? So that would basically be negative 7 if we round it because it would be negative 7 times practically 1. And then we're going to add... This. So if this has seven zeros, that's going to move our decimal place seven places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means that's a $38 expected value. So together, the expected value of losing $7 plus the expected value of winning $38 gives this an expected value of $31. So for the second prize, where's my tablet here? Okay, good. So for the second prize, it would be negative seven dollars per ticket times a probability of one minus this number, right? So one minus our zero point zero zero. 0 to 1 plus 10,000 times the probability 0 0.00021. And when we add that together, you can use a calculator to do it. It Because this is a negative number, but the negative number is going to be bigger than the positive number because this is... How many decimal places? One, two, three, four. So that's going to be like point. Well, that's going to be two, right? And this, oh, this won't turn into exactly seven this time because the number's a little bit bigger than that. I'm trying to see where I have my work written down. I don't see it. I think I just did it in my calculator. So negative seven times. 1 minus 0 0.00021 plus 10,000 times 0 0.00021. I'm just putting that whole thing in my calculator. And my calculator tells me, I don't know if any of you typed it in just to see, I got negative 4.898. So that would be an expected value of negative 490. Yes, Jocelyn. <clears throat> okay, so to explain this better, 
<coughs> an expected value of $31 would mean that in order to guarantee winning the $10 million, you would have to buy enough lottery tickets, like $9 million something dollars worth of lottery tickets, to guarantee winning that $10 million, which means you would only make a profit of $31. So you might say when you buy a lottery ticket that, hey, there's still a $10,000 prize. That has a higher chance. I should go for that because that's, you know, I can do that. The chance is still so small that in order to guarantee that you would get that second prize, at the very least, you would have to buy enough lottery tickets that you would still be in the hole $4.90 after winning the $10,000. So for the third prize, we would have negative 7 times 1 minus 0 0.0005, or three zero, sorry, two zeros, 5, plus $100 times 0 0.0005. Oh, I keep putting too many zeros. So that's two zeros. That's messy. When I have like too much going on on my computer, it's hard to write on this thing and make it look good unless I like write super slow. Super slow. Okay, so then if I throw that in a calculator, it says the expected value would be negative six dollars and fifty cents. Okay, and then the chance of buying a lottery ticket and winning nothing. Basically, this is so close to one, we could just call that $7. Basically, you're throwing $7 away if you buy a lottery ticket. So. And that's that would come from doing negative 7 times 0.9947862. That's the one we found earlier, right? And that would just round to $7. Okay. So we're going to calculate the expected value by adding all of these numbers together. So 31 minus 490 minus 650 minus 7. Overall, to, go, to buy enough tickets to go for winning whichever prize you get, your expected value is that after buying enough lottery tickets to win something, you'll end up making $12.60. And of course, there's that one lucky winner that doesn't spend a lot and wins all the money, right? But its probability is so small that that's why people use the phrase all the time when they're talking about something not happening. Yeah, that's like the chance of winning the lottery, right? Because the chances are so small. Okay. So I think we've talked about this enough today that you might be able to formulate an answer here of some sort, don't you think? Okay, cool. Okay.